Hi, this is just a real quick video about these 3D printed cases that I designed for the Avnet Azure Sphere starter kit. Um, so when you when you print your when you print your case out, one thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to um, clear this arm here. So this arm is actually intended. Oh, the light's terrible. Intended to flex like this. Um, and so what you have to do is, underneath this arm, there's a cavity under here, but you have to clean that out. It's, it'll have some support in there. So you have to clean that out and break it free so that this will actually move. See how that bends? And then to, to insert the starter kit into the case, um, what you have to do is you have to take the end of the kit that's got the USB connector on it, and you have to put that at an angle you can see the little uh, the little tits there on the corners. So you actually have to slide that in at a very shallow angle and get it in there and underneath underneath the, the lip there. And then once it's in there, take a small screwdriver or something and pull that little arm back and it'll drop down in and then once it's dropped down in there, you just line it up and it should drop right onto all, all four of those little uh, tits. And so now it's in there, it won't come out. And then uh, to put the case, the cover on the case, uh, you have to be fragile. These, these little arms, you have to be careful. These little arms are kind of fragile. Um, uh, but what I found is that if I, I hook the end that's got the click sockets on it, if I hook that first, and then on this side, if I push in a little bit on the side, as I clip that down, it'll just pop right on there, and then uh, and then there you go. It's uh, it's uh, it's nice and secure without any additional hardware. So there's multiple. Uh, there's two different cases. So there's this case that doesn't have a cutout for the OLED because this board's got. I installed a four-pin header for the an external OLED, and then there's a top for that that has a cutout for that connector. And then there's another case uh, on the Thingiverse, Thingiverse page that has a cutout for the OLED. If you happen to solder your LED OLED onto your board like this one is, um, there's another case that's got a cutout for that. Um, and I actually created a, a special top for that as well, but I, I discovered that you really don't need it. Any of the tops will work, uh, and you can still see most of the OLED display. Um, and then there's also, um, the case has uh, access to the buttons, the A and the B buttons. The only thing that you really don't have access to is the, uh, the LEDs that are inside. Uh, I tried to make it real uh, thin right here so maybe you could see through, but of course this black one you're not going to be able to see through it. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's, that's how you insert the board into the case and that's how you put the top on without breaking the, the tabs. Um, just again push in on the side over here and then it'll come right off and then give it a little push in to, to reduce that distance and it'll come in. That's it. Hope you enjoy it.